Hi there, it's Luke Hodgkin from Intertennis. In today's video, I wanna take you through technique checkpoints. These are gonna help you to do your shadow swings and form a good foundation for your technique. I'm gonna show you in 4K and in slow motion. Gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get started. This is a forehand volley and we use a continental grip. So that way, we don't need to change the grip between forehand and backhand volley. In our ready position, we have a continental grip. We've got the racket centered. My feet are wider than my shoulders. Now I have to do a split step and I'll pivot my toe out. My strings will point forward and now I'm gonna take a step forward and bring my hands together, almost like they're gonna clap. The secret to hitting a good forehand volley is to push your elbow forward. So you could actually do a drill where you grab your elbow, pushing it forward, and that'll help you master it. Ready position, turn, step and go forward. Split, turn, take a step forward. Split, turn, bring your hands together. And don't forget to swing in a slightly high to low action so you can get some backspin. Ready position, turn, step and go forward. Ready, pivot your toe, then go forward. And make sure you keep your backswing small. Ready, turn, step and go forward. Split, turn, transfer your weight forward. And don't forget to push your elbow forward. This is a forehand ground stroke. I'm demonstrating in an Eastern forehand grip with my knuckle on bevel three. But if you're more advanced, you could use semi-Western grip with your knuckle on bevel four. Now let's have a look at the forehand ground stroke. In the ready position, I've got my elbows out, the rack is 45 degrees, and my feet are wider than my shoulders. I'm gonna do a split step and turn like I did for a volley. Now, I'm gonna take a step forward and sit down in the chair. I give it a bit of a loop as I do that. The butt cap is facing forward. The strings are facing down a little bit here as well. Left arms across my body. I'm gonna swing away from my body to go to contact. Both hands will go up the stairs together. And in the follow through, I want you to catch the racket, point your elbow to the target and have your palm facing away. Ready position, unit turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball and follow through. Split, turn, go around the beach ball and point your elbow to the target. Split, pivot your toe and make sure you have your palm facing away in your follow through. Ready position, unit turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball and follow through. Split, turn, draw a letter C and make sure you get the racket below the height of the ball so you can swing low to high and get some top spin. Ready, unit turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball and follow through. Split, turn and swing your racket over a small hill as you step forward and sit in the chair. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who has the best shadow swing of them all? No, not you. You need to work hard. Okay, do you have anything that might help me to improve faster? Bing! Wow, a Top Spin Pro. So as you can see, the Top Spin Pro is a fabulous training aid for practicing your shadow swings. I highly recommend it, and there'll be a link down in the description if you want to get one for yourself. This is a two-hand backhand volley. My bottom hand has a continental grip and the top hand is eastern forehand, knuckle on three. 
Now let's talk about the two hand backhand volley. In your ready position, you wanna have your feet wider than your shoulders, both hands on the grip, and the racket 45 degrees. I'm gonna do a split step and I'm gonna turn, change my grip to continental, and I'm gonna straighten the arm. I also wanna have my left elbow up. Now I can take a step forward and bring the wall to the ball. The secret to a really good two hand backhand volley is to have this back elbow up. That's what's gonna point the strings forward. If your elbow's down, there's a good chance you'll flip the racket over. Ready, turn, step and go forward. Split, turn, straighten out your arm. Split, turn and get your elbow up. And make sure to keep your backswing small. Ready, turn, step and go forward. Split, pivot your toe, transfer your weight forward. And little kids can bring the wall to the ball and block it. Ready, turn, step and go forward. And advanced players can swing slightly high to low so they can get some backspin. That backspin might help you to control the ball a little more. This is a two hand backhand ground stroke and my recommended grips are Continental Eastern. If you're not sure about grips, make sure you check out the Ultimate Grip Masterclass video. In my ready position, I've got both hands on the grip. My feet are wider than my shoulders and my racket's 45 degrees. I'm gonna do a split step. I'm gonna turn, change the grip to continental and straighten out my right arm. I'm gonna turn until I feel some tension, which is around about that three quarter mark here. It's also good in the take back to close your strings off a little bit. Now that I've turned, I'm gonna take a step forward and sit down in the chair. As I do that, I'm gonna turn my shoulders a little bit more than sideways. I've got the butt cap facing forward, my knees are bent and I'm gonna to swing to contact. My contact is in line with my front foot and my strings are pointing forward here. Now during your follow through, you wanna extend out towards your target and also get your palm to face away in the finish. Ready, turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball and follow through. Split, turn, turn even more as you sit in the chair. Extend out towards your target. Make sure you get the racket below the height of the ball so you can swing low to high and get some top spin. Ready, turn. Sit in the chair, contact the ball and follow through. Split and unit turn. And during your follow through, point the racket forward like a sword and get your palm facing away in the finish. Ready position, turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball and follow through. Keep your eyes at contact until you finish your follow through and breathe out at the hit like this. This is a one hand backhand volley. And for this shot, we use a continental grip with our knuckle on bevel two. I'm gonna start in my ready position with my feet wider than my shoulders. I've got my hand up on the throat and the racket centered. I want my elbows out in front of my body. I'm gonna do a split step and pivot my left toe out. My right arm can be pretty straight here and my left elbow is up. I also want to push my elbow forward a little bit. Now I can step and go forward. Both hands are going to go in opposite directions. 
It is slightly in a high to low action, but just make sure you're finishing around eye level. Ready, turn, step and go forward. Split, turn, push your elbow forward. Split step, unit turn, swing high to low. And make your hands go in opposite directions. Ready, turn, step and go forward. Split, pivot your toe, transfer your weight forward. And make sure you're breathing out at the hip. Ready, turn, step and go forward. And you can swing in a slightly high to low action so you can get some backspin and that's gonna help you control the ball. This is a one hand backhand ground stroke. For this, we use an Eastern backhand grip with a knuckle and beaver one. In my ready position, I have my feet wider than my shoulders and I've got my left hand up on the throat. My racket's 45 degrees. I'm gonna split, change my grip and turn until I feel some tension. It's around about that three quarter mark here. My arm's pretty straight and my left elbow's up. Now, as I take a step forward and sit in the chair, I can turn a bit more than sideways as well. So I'm turning more as I sit down in the chair. I've still got my left hand on the throat here and now, as I swing away from my body, both hands go in opposite directions. My contact has my arms straight and out in front of my body. And now in my follow through, I'm gonna go up the back of the ball and finish with the butt cap sort of over there. Ready. Unit turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball, follow through. Split step, pivot your toe out, turn more than sideways as you sit in the chair. Split, turn, and keep your eyes on contact until you finish your follow through. Ready, unit turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball, follow through. Ready position, unit turn, sit in the chair and make your hands go in opposite directions, forming a line. Ready, unit turn, sit in the chair, contact the ball, follow through. Split step, turn, racket below the ball, breathe out at the hit. Finally, make sure you're practicing grip change. This is a slice backhand and we use a continental grip to hit this shot. So in my ready position, I've got my feet wider than my shoulders and I've got my hand up on my throat here. Bracket's 45 degrees again. So what I've got to do is do a split step I'm gonna pivot my toe out and change the grip to continental. I'm gonna turn until I feel that tension again. And now as I take my step forward, I'm gonna turn more than sideways. Now I'm gonna to go to contact and draw a banana shape. My strings are just back a few degrees. And now in the follow through, 
my hands are going to form a line. So it's a bit like drawing a banana shape. Ready position, unit turn, contact and follow through. Split step, pivot your toe out and keep your eyes at contact until you finish your follow through. Ready position, unit turn, contact and follow through. Split step, turn more than sideways and get your hands to go in opposite directions, forming a line. Ready position, unit turn, contact and follow through. Make sure you're breathing out at the hit and practicing grip change from your forehand grip to the continental grip. This is a smash and for this shot we'll use a continental grip. All right, now let's have a look at the smash. I'm most likely at the net. I got my ready position with my continental grip already. So all I need to do is do a split step and turn side on. I'm gonna to get to my salute position. From here, I'm gonna comb the hair, talk on the phone, high five the giant, which is our contact. We're gonna to go to pronate, which is like putting your palm facing away. And then we're gonna make an X in the finish. Ready position, salute. Comb your hair, talk on the phone, high five the giant, pronate and make an X. Keep your eyes up at contact so we don't drop it in the net. And freeze your X to the net post so we don't get front on. Ready position, salute, comb your hair, talk on the phone, high five the giant, pronate and make an X. Shift your weight back and then transfer your weight forward as you hit the smash. This is a surf and if you hope to surf like this one day, you must learn to use the continental grip. It can be quite hard at first, but do lots of practice and I know you can get the hang of it. I'm gonna have a continental grip. I'm gonna point my toe over to the net post and my feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna put the ball on my strings and lean forward. Now, I'm gonna keep that ball on the strings as I turn and shift my weight backwards. I'm gonna turn more. Now I'm gonna lift the ball up to eye level. The racket is all the way back in my backswing here, a bit like a snake. Now I'm gonna to go to my salute position. My knees are bent here as well. We're gonna comb the hair, talk on the phone. We're gonna high five the giant, which is the contact. We're gonna pronate, which means put your palm facing away. And then in the finish, I want you to finish with an X and make sure that X is out to the net post. Ready position, turn, turn more. Salute, comb your hair, talk on the phone, high five the giant, pronate and make an X. Make sure your palms facing down when you get to the salute so our shoulders nice and relaxed. And freeze your X out to the net post so we don't get front on too soon.
Ready position, turn, turn more. Salute, comb your hair, talk on the phone, high five the giant, pronate and make an X. Let go of the ball at eye level and this should make your ball toss go somewhere between 12 and 1 o'clock. Let's keep our eyes up at contact so we don't drop it in the net and remind yourself to stay relaxed so we can get more power. Ready position, turn, turn more. Salute, comb your hair, talk on the phone, high five the giant, pronate and make an X. During your backswing, make sure you take the racket back well past your shoulder before you start raising it up to your salute position. That'll help keep your shoulder nice and relaxed. And finally, release the ball at eye level. Contact is between 12 and one. Keep your eyes up at the contact and breathe out at the hit. All right, I really hope that helps to improve your technique fundamentals. Just keep in mind, there isn't one way to hit the ball. In fact, when you play a match, the ball's gonna come to you in all sorts of situations. And that's why I want you to watch the Tennis Footwork Masterclass. That video is gonna show how to do these techniques on the move. And I think when you combine these technique fundamentals with that footwork, you're gonna be off to a fantastic start and you'll have a bright future playing tennis. All right, now I've got five tips for you that are gonna help you master your technique. Tip number one, do some shadow swings in front of a mirror. If you don't have a mirror, you can use your camera, film yourself from all different angles, have a look at it, go back and try again. Just keep going until you get it right. Tip number two, use a training aid like the Top Spin Pro to make practicing your technique more exciting. Tip number three, I want you to download the Technique Checkpoints PDF. There'll be a link in the description so you can download it, study all the different checkpoints, have a look at the pictures of each of the steps in the swings. And I think you'll find that really helpful. Tip number four, you have to practice these techniques along with some footwork. You need to do these on the move. So I want you to check out the Tennis Footwork Masterclass video. That's gonna show you how to practice these techniques with some footwork. When you join these techniques together with good footwork, it's really powerful. Tip number five, only hard work will pay off. Don't expect to do five shadow swings and have your swing get better. You'll have to get out there and do 50 repetitions a day for a couple of weeks before you see the results that you were looking for. All right, that's it. Thanks for sticking around. I really hope this video is gonna help you with your technique. Make sure you press like if you found it helpful. And I want you to subscribe so you can be notified when I make another video like this. All right, I'll see you next time.